So I think every day is very different in the studio. Because I do a lot of collaboration, so I meet a lot of researchers, uh, scientists, but also um, more recently I've been meeting lots of people who hold bodies of knowledge that are about to get extinct. So I also I do a lot of research, so a day in the studio doing lots of research could be reading or researching uh, through, again, conversation. I spend a lot of time thinking. Also, I make diagrams uh, to understand the origins and the future of humankind. And uh, a lot of my work is around, is about speculating on worlds and ecosystems that uh, don't exist anymore because they've gone extinct or um, that we don't see because they're, they're in parallel presence. Uh, whenever the hypothesis is clear in my head, I start sketching. So, for example, in the past, I've invented a world in which elephants and not humans would have become uh, dominant on Earth and uh, would have become um, sentient and developed a sophisticated language. Uh, so, um, when this speculation was clear in my head, I started sketching how these elephant communities could look like, how this elephant civilization uh, could look like, how their bodies could have evolved. So I do a lot of, uh, lots and lots of sketches, uh, probably hundreds per project. And I could also be traveling to foundries I work with or to the, uh, the fabricator in London who makes a lot of my um, casting works. So more recently we've developed more uh, hybrid uh, way of working where we've been integrating all sorts of different organic and inorganic materials. For example, for my work in Venice, I wanted to uh, create a watercolor effect on the surface of the sculpture. So I've been working with them in, the, in their studio uh, to achieve this effect. So it's very diverse. It's, there's no, no single day is, um, is the same, actually. In the past, I've been working very much on a project basis. So yes, I would start my project, develop a hypothesis, a speculation, bring it to life. And once it, the show was over, uh, I would start a new one. And then as things were progressing with my work, I was realizing that actually in each project, the research is so intense that there are lots of threads that I can't really develop in one single project. So for example, with Surface Horizon, working with the clairvoyance was very interesting for me because there were a portal between different times and different spaces. So a bit like some sculptures I've been doing or some sound works I've been doing, but with the clairvoyance, it's embodied within a human being. Uh, so I'm imagining that I could explore this again in the, my next exhibition, for example. So it's much more open now. It's a very good feeling actually because I feel that I've built a body of research and of work that is really coherent and that I've already created connection between things that were not connected before and it's quite it's a fertile ground